Hello all, welcome back to Geek Fang Shui. I'm your host and Game Master, Bob Sellers JR. Shout out to our friends at Chaotic Good Brewing here in Castle Manor, go under pressure in Golden Valley and south by southeast and beautiful Pine Island, Minnesota, all three are venues of similar nature near you and yours. Family, pet, kid, fun, friendly places where you can either go and find them there or bring them there or just chillax in the environment that is just pristine for everyone whether you drink alcohol or not they have non-alcoholic beverages available other options and things to consider and event filled calendars check them out and on saturdays you can do yoga i could judge you if you drink before during after because we all know yoga under the influence is not yet considered a crime by anyone other than for entertainment purposes where video and photo evidence is much appreciated Check out my books at sellersjr.com, my overall website, geekfengshui.com, and this channel, which I appreciate every like, subscribe, setting up the bell, and commentary, as long as you keep it to the rails. Remember, trolls and horde walk in fear of Geek Feng Shui, at least on white men. So today, we are going to take a look at the Neutral Auction House. Now, the Neutral Auction House... <coughs> allows you to trade between factions you can't buy your own auctions so in my case I happen to have a another account that I reactivated here you want this is my my rogue but when you come down to Gadgetstan or Booty Bay for that matter you'll find an auction house that is not linked to the main one so you can sell stuff here between factions and so you'll see some people that will have obscene prices for things like this person flint and tinder is selling there's transferring three thousand gold now the advantage of this is a couple fold that's right realize you didn't see that so here This is 3,000 gold someone's transferring to the one side or the other, depending upon what their, what their uh, faction is. Now, why would you do that? Well, I'll show you an example. So, a trailer will list Silver bar, I'll do it for one gold. So now I come over here, silver bar, and voila, that is kind of silver bar from the horde. So, if you happen to be on a server that is faction heavy on one side and faction light on the other, like this is board heavy, you can go to the auction house. Now, I'll take you on a little tour here to show you the difference. So, using Thumbelina here. In Ogremar, you go to the auction house here. So I've upgraded all my weapons and all my characters axes, maces, whatnot, staves. So you can even bags. I got I got the uh, bags for all my characters now. These are 18 slots, but the containers. For the bags, are much more available over here. Now, for example, these these are obviously ex overly expensive, but you can get into the 22 slot bags for 420 gold, which I kind of doubt is a good price because you have the 20 bags that are two more than the ones like this gal has 18. She's not strapped for space. But you can also find soul bags, enchanting bags, weapons, galore that 
because there's a whole bunch more people over here. Now, if you compare that to Let's say I go over to and you can see I will be upgrading. Gizu is 25. Pick up a fist weapon and a dagger. That uh, yeah, I would never have seen over on this side. Now, theoretically, you could make a lot of gold by taking items from one side and going to the other. I see what I did. All right, so we'll use this as an example. I got them all for Zoom tonight, but not or for the other two. So we will show you how this works. We'll go over to the. I almost bought three. And I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. I go into weapons, I go to daggers. And what I can also get that I don't have on the other side I have gold between the three hunters that I share. So I'll have to go down to fist weapons. Well there aren't any here. So I will
Now some of these are expensive. I'm going to get the butcher just because of the name from the guy that fan. Send this to the trailer. Then you have to watch because there's gankers and guys just in. Now there's two auction houses. I'll take you to the other one. That is in Booty Bay, which theoretically would have been an easier one to get to. Then what? Uh... In here, I was. That was cool to make a run to Gadget Sound. There's a lot of corpse popping, so to speak. Now, the thing is, you got to be careful because if someone's watching the auction house, they could intercept. So, what I suggest doing. Buying it right away. Now, if you don't have two accounts, I'm fortunate that I do, then you can have a friend, if you trust them, to do the selling. Because back in the day, you couldn't have the same different factions on the same server now there was a black market one that's the one i guess i was confusing with the shared one when i was looking for it before The advantage of having the dagger in the main hand is you can have another dagger in the other fist weapon. What have you. The other thing is that is not on over here are pole arms where they are on the other side.
you can see how the selection <laughs> side is rather limited. And pricing, we're often cheaper on the other side. Oh, here we go. Let's see, it's level 68. But at any rate, you can see how you can take advantage of it. I was going to show you the bags, if they are even available over here. Bags are another issue. I just do bags all together. So somebody's made a lot of inscription bags. The 20 slot bags, frost weaves, are 139, but they're 50 over on the other side. And you don't have any of the big ones. That's it. That's all the bags are available. So if you want a leather working bag or whatnot, it's a lot easier to pick it up on the other side and send it across than it is to try to level up your skills to make it if you're going to try to do that. Now I will show you my other... Fist weapons, I think, are 27 and 28. I could be wrong. 27. So they're 18 to 35. So I can get all my characters geared the way I want them to be. Now, if you want to see where the other one is... It's in Booty Bay, and it's a little bit better laid out in the sense that you're right by the bank. You got just in, there's always a suicide walk. So you have the auctioneer here that is a shared one. Somebody could come over here and buy it, and that would be over there. In case you're wondering where that is, if you come all the way around to the far end here, you'll see the mailbox, the bankers, Hill Bank, and whatnot all right here. But you can't buy this. So if you only have one account, you can't buy your own stuff. So if you list something as Horde, you can't buy it as Alliance. But in, in my case, I have to be lucky. I have to activate the other account again. But I have enough now so that I can go through and equip all my characters with the weapons that they might not have otherwise have had access to. Example that is pal. You could do the same thing with armor, and you could make gold by bringing stuff across and selling it. But you, you have to get lucky at it. Um, What can I do for you? Off with you. See if I wanted to go over and look at weapons that I wanted to supplement Kazoon type. And you can run two copy the while with the two different accounts on the same machine or separate ones. I have a machine that can handle it. Some of them don't. But you can go out and uh, essentially have your while one and while two.
You can see some of the prices are absurd. And again, that could be worth it. So what you do, To make sure you buy things that go in one hat versus main hat. As you can see, oh, this little gap here, I've been ganked. Oh, across, I'm ganked down here. There's, if they know you're down here. I do take a bigger cut out of this. I'll close down the other one. Theoretically, I could see how long it takes for her to kill a high level character. The guards would definitely kill her here, but But that is pretty much it.
it does give you kind of a leg up. I mean, obviously, you're going to level out of your weapons anyway at some point. But, uh, You might say, well, it's a waste to, well, it is and it isn't. I have the ability now I can do a mace in one hand and a sword in the other if I want to. But the damage and DPS goes up quite a bit more. But that is the auction house and how you can make money if you want to on the low-end faction versus a high-end, or use one against the other, equip your characters. And again, you, you have to have two constitute yourself or somebody that you trust to do it on the other end, because they have to have the gold. So there is complications with that. But uh, I thought I would share that education. Check out our friends at Chaotic Good Brewing here in Casa Manorville under pressure in Golden Valley in South by Southeast and beautiful Pine Islander venues of similar nature near you and yours, where we don't judge if you drink before, during, after, you're at least a casting, but we enjoy pictures and video evidence of it for amusement, just saying. Check out my books at SellersJR, and I got my overall website, GeekFinishWay.com, this channel. I truly appreciate everybody like, subscribe, sending in the bell. Likes are really, really, really appreciated. And commentary, as long as you realize you need to keep between the rails, and don't be a troll, because we all know trolls and Lord walk in fear deep feng shui. Based on white man, have a good one.